Welcome back, guys. This is the one year and two month mark of our 41 way ceramic coatings and sealants longevity test. We have a few more failures to report this month, so let's not waste any time and let's get right to it. As usual, we're going to foam this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then, of course, rinse it to inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off. If you do have a minute, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments if you've used any of these products on here or your experiences or if you're rooting for any of them. As always, if there is a product you want to see tested, let me know too, but be sure to check out the master spreadsheet in the video description to make sure I haven't tested it first. So jumping right into it, Seacourt's Finest Reserve. I think we are going to call that failed. Remember, these were IR cured. They are they were current batches. They were brand new when opened. Seacourt's Finest Reserve. Maybe just a hair on there, but man, it is not looking good. Remember from videos past, you've heard me talk about the silver hood. I kind of regret having a silver hood because it is hard to show up on camera. So I have edited it in post a little bit to show CPC T3 Pro and T9H, both still hanging in there. Apex Metal Oxide Coating, got a little wear on it, but it's still hanging in there. That's made by Art to Shine. Nanoskin Ultra T1 and T3 Pro, both of those, the way they're acting right there, it's been like that for a few months now. They, they sort of hold the water, the surface tension breaks, and then it releases, but it's not instantly hydrophobic like it once was. NGNT Pro 1K and 1K Plus. 1K is getting pretty weak. 1K Plus, still hanging in there. This is a company from Switzerland. They will be entering the US market under a different brand, and I don't know what that is yet. Avalon King, still hanging in there. Nano Age, Nano Bond, sort of the same. Avalon King doesn't look like doesn't look like it's doing quite as well as Nano Age and Nano Bond. Well, Region 10 Age, it's getting pretty weak too. You know, it's doing that thing where it's holding the surface tension before it releases. Uh, that's the best way to describe it. Drive Auto Nano 9H doing all right. And the infamous Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating starting to show a little bit of wear. Underdog, the Sauce Pro PTFE Teflon based, still hanging in there. Gloss at 10H. Looks like it's doing all right as well. Glosset 5H, about the same. And NGNT Pro 2K, much more hydrophobic. Multiple layer coating. And their flagship Pro 3K, even more hydrophobic still. I believe that is, what, three, four, five layers, something like that. It is a multiple layer coating, different parts, but it looks like it's doing quite well. Griots, as we know, lasted about a year, been pretty consistent where it's strong about eight months and then it, the hydrophobics start to fall off after that to the point where one year we called it failed. G-Technic Ultra, professional only, still hanging in there. IGL Premier, that is our next failure we're gonna call this month. It's rated as a six month sealant and typically it will last a little bit longer than that in this case and in previous cases, you get about a year out of it. IGL Easy Graphene rated for one year and it is still hanging in there. So it'll probably exceed it by a little bit. And last but not least over here, Chemical Guys Carbon Force. It is getting weak, but not quite there. It's been sort of acting like that since about the 60 day mark where the hydrophobics have gotten weak, but they've, they're not instantly hydrophobic like they once were. So NGNT, those are the impressive ones for me. Unfortunately, I don't have any other info on what brand that will be when they enter the US. So as I find something out, I will let you guys know. But our failures this month, C Quartz Finest Reserve, IGL Premier, and then we have several others that are well on their way to failure. So give me your thoughts, opinions in the in the comments, guys. What do you think? Are you seeing similar results? Let me know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.